Hey, hey, what's going on, fight fans? This is Sean with Boxing Socialist and Other Sports. Here with Juan and Curio, who is the CEO and founder of the ABO, um, American Boxing Association. Organization. Um, organization. What did I say? Association. Oh, organization. Sorry about that. It's a okay. uh, ABO. Um, Juan, let's start it off by first tell people a little bit about yourself. So I know from what I found, you were actually at one time a local police officer. Yes. In Illinois. Yep. Uh, was it Round Lake? Round Lake. Yeah, yep. Round Lake. Yep. And um, and I know that you deal a lot with boxing and the kids. So I say that to say this. So that lets me know, growing up, you must have used to box. Yeah. Tell us your life story. Take us all the way back to when you were a kid. Well, you know, my father was uh, in boxing in Mexico City. He won a few titles. He was a professional then, boxer. Pro, yeah, in, pro, yeah, okay. in the, yeah, amateurs and professional. Okay. And then, um, you know, just kind of picked up on what he was doing, and then he kind of instilled it on all his all his kids, right? All right. So, you, how many brothers and sisters? Uh, you have? Two, two. I have an older brother. I'm in the middle. Okay, and older then, brother. Older brother, me, yeah, and then. No, older brother, me, and then my younger brother. Oh, no sisters. No brother. sisters. Okay, got yeah, it. Yeah, so he kind of instilled that in us, and we kind of learned, you know, how to defend ourselves and just right. learned, learned everything, you know, in the yeah. amateurs. And, you know, just learned. So all three of y'all boxed? All, all of us. Yeah, my, right, father, who, my father all the way down to my youngest. So who was the toughest out of y'all three? I, I don't know, well, who, man. who would you say had a better amateur career? Uh, well, we all fought a few times. I, I want to say that probably myself, you know, yeah. I, I, I've always been one to always want to take it a little step further, okay. you know. And what weight uh, were you fighting at around uh, that time? Like 119. Oh, you were small. Yeah, 119. And then I also wrestled too at the same time. So my weight would fluctuate, you know, 119, mm. 126, 135. Um, and I just really enjoyed um, the art of contact sports mm -hmm. you know that those disciplines I really yeah. enjoyed um, and, and you and your brothers were y'all all around the same size or were they bigger I was bigger you were um, bigger than the two yeah I was bigger than the two yeah and then those guys pursued soccer and I was the one that stuck with boxing mm. so my dad would take me to the gym when to see the gym mm -hmm. um, at the time over there in an eerie house in Chicago mm. uh, you know mess around a little bit and, you know, I uh, just did it a few times and just fell in love with it. But I knew that I wanted to take it a step further because my father wanted me to focus on the business aspect of boxing. So, you know, learned a lot about promotions. Um, got into promotions with battle promotions back in the day. Mm. Um, and then uh, with Ernie Terrell. Mm -hmm. And then, did, did you know, did a few fights in East Moline. Yeah. Um, so out there in the Quad Cities. Mm -hmm. uh, and and just learn everything that there was to be learned in, in the business of boxing. Right. Uh, and then, you know, went to law enforcement, you know. Mm. So I did that, got my discipline, got my education, got my licensures and stuff like that. And, um, and that's really it, you know, about me. As far as, like, from the boxing to, you know, running a gym, owning mm -hmm. a gym, mm -hmm. managing a gym, and then promoting – and then, mm. you know, starting a program, an at-risk youth program for for kids in Round Lake. Okay. Um, and those those programs went very well, yeah. um, you know. And 10 years later, I mean, we're still there. Mm. Um, and so, that's about it. So, Juan, uh, I know I did a little bit of time in um, Memphis. And that's the first time I heard of the PAL program. Police Athletic mm -hmm. League. Mm -hmm. um, is that everywhere in the United States? Did y'all have a PAL program too when you no. had the force? Okay. No. Do you wish y'all did at the time? Yes. Uh, I, There's I, nothing about getting cops and the youth together to build that trust relationship. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. Um, the, the most important component to running an outreach program is not so much the boxing but the mentoring component. Mm. It has to have okay. that component. For it to work. Okay. Because if you just have the boxing, anybody can run a boxing program. Right. 
but not everybody can run a mentoring program. Oh. So the program that I run in Round Lake not only focuses on boxing, but it also focuses on education, on mentoring, on dealing with good organizations that will help kids get scholarships so that they can further themselves academically mm -hmm. and things like that. So Is that's this the HACP? HACP boxing. Hispanic? Uh, no, that's uh, Hook, Aim, Cross, Punch. We, cross we, punch. Yeah, oh. we, we changed the name to okay. Hook, Aim, Cross, Punch. HACP, Hook, Cross, cross punch, punch, Boxing okay. Club. Okay. Yep. And um, the the Hispanic American Community Partners. Right. That's what that, I'm about. Mm -hmm, Yeah. That um, had a lot of programs. That had mm. ESL program. That was a 501c3, by the mm. way. Okay. That had an um, ESL program, a tutoring program, a Boy Scout program, a um, um, uh, SNAP card program, mm. um, public benefit program. Wow. So it was very overwhelming for me to run all those plus boxing and being a police officer, you uh, know. And I was I was a police officer part time, okay. but I but I like literally worked thirty two hours, sometimes forty, you know. And and it was a lot. Right. It was a lot. It was a real lot. And to get it from where we started to where we are today, mm -hmm. it was it, it. I knew that I was going to. I wanted to push boxing. Mm -hmm. Because not every African American mm -hmm. um, likes soccer, not every Mexican American mm -hmm. likes soccer mm -hmm. or football. Mm -hmm. You know, I wanted to give back something or start something where kids were able to um, release their stress and to, mm -hmm. you know, redirect all that negative energy. All right. And. You know, we had a lot of uh, gang members, you know, that participated in the beginning. Oh, and wow. a lot of those kids were believable, unbelievable kids. Yeah. Great kids, you know. And those kids really um, kind of put us where we needed to be. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of them went to college. Yeah. A lot of those kids went to college. A lot of those kids went to do big things in the business world. Yeah. Um, some of them inspired to be lawyers. Some of them mm -hmm. are in law school today. Yeah. Um, so, you know... We, we, we did a lot of we did a lot of great things uh, through yeah. Hispanic American community yeah. partners, but I, I knew that I needed to narrow things down. Sure, sure. And that's when I really started to uh, just do the hook game cross punch, and kind of do the mentoring component, do the boxing component, and then um, and then just the street stuff. You know, right. getting kids off the streets. Mm.